Welcome. Hey, we're out here checking to see if the water temperature is going to be the same near the top of the lake going all the way to the bottom of the lake. The reason why I'm doing that is because I believe this lake turned over three days ago. And if it indeed did turn over three days ago, the water temperature should be fairly uniform from top to bottom. Now, why do I think the, the lake turned over? Okay, for one, we had a huge wind. And that's the one thing that'll trigger a turnover. The water temperatures were in the 50s and we had the huge wind. That is often the circumstances that uh, cause the lake to turn over. So, oh, well, what is the turnover? You know, I've discussed this in the other video. Basically, what happens is the, 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 uh, the water layers out according to water temperature and density with, uh, you know, 39 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the densest water temperature for water. Um, so, you, so as you get colder and colder towards that temperature, the water's denser, so you have colder water towards the bottom and warmer water at the surface. But in the fall, that breaks down because uh, you, get so, you get a lot of cold nights and eventually the surface water is warmer than the water below. Then you get the big wind, you get that, uh, that, uh, that heavier, colder water on top will, will just break down the whole layering system with that wind stirring everything up. And, uh, and that's what fall turnover is. The indicators, the water tur turbidity, um, the fish are scattered. Uh, sometimes the lake will smell. Um, in the super rare cases, you might even get a fish kill. But uh, so, and, and then to verify this, I wanna check the water temperatures. So I'm using this uh, AquaView camera and it also has a temperature probe on it. So this is the monitor. There's the uh, lens and the probe. I have modified that somewhat for so when I troll with it. So anyways, it's 51 degrees right at the surface here. So, and this also tells me how deep the probe is as I lower it. So right here at the surface, I got 51. So let's just go ahead and, and I got 40 foot depth right here. So we're gonna test, so we just tested at 51 on the top. Now let's go to, um, oh Jesus, in meters for the depth. Okay, 1.5 meters, so that's what, about five feet maybe? Uh, no change, five feet down. But this, the problem is this probe is slow to change. So that's, we're gonna have to be patient as we do this. Um, All right, I'm almost at three meters. So three meters is basically uh, 3.13 meters. So I was close to 10 feet. Oh, okay, yeah, it is showing feet here as well, both meters and feet. So 10.42 feet. Water temperature is still 51 degrees. Let's drop it down to 20. Try to do this a little faster. Although it does take time for it to adjust. There's 15 feet. I do want to get out fishing. <laughs> get a few casts in anyways. But I can't fish too much today. I have some other plans. All right, there's 19.5 and there is 20.5. Point 20.98 feet. Still reading 51 degrees. Now let's just weigh it here. Um, let's just give it you know, a minute here to see if this 51 changes to anything else. So, well yeah, it's, what day is it today? It's like October 29th. Well, Sunday is the 31st, Halloween. So it's, yeah, today is the tw October 29th. And we are on a mesotrophic lake in north central Minnesota. It, it, another thing to mention about turnover is not every lake at this latitude is going to turn over at the same time. 
you're going to have, this lake's going to turn, in fact, this lake here has got three different basins. The one basin's a shallow basin. It doesn't stratify at all, so there is no fall turnover there. The other basin, the water clarity still seems to be fine, and the fish are still where they have been for the last few weeks. So I'm not sure that basin hasn't, that basin may not have turned over. But this one, the turbidity has definitely changed big time. So, and the fish scat, where they were, I mean, the fish had been set up in certain places for a few weeks and numbers, and the numbers, lots of fish. And then when I was out here the other day, it was just uh, very, I did catch two fish, but it was very, uh, not near as many fish. So, all right, it held at 51 degrees. So we'll keep dropping her down. All right, we're at almost 25. There's 25 feet. Oh, we're getting a little waffling on the temperature. It kind of went back and forth between 50 and 51. And we're at 25.87 feet. All right, let's keep going. One more. Okay, we are now at 30.09 feet, and the water temperature is now reading 50 degrees. Oh, now it's, it's bouncing between 50 and 51. There's no decimal place, so it is now it's locked in on 51. 30.12 feet. guys going. I hope they're not going to my spots. There's already a boat over on one of my spots and that boat's going right to them. That might explain why they've been kind of finicky this fall. Get, get any more pressure than I realized. All right, let's go down. Let's go down all the way down. Well, we'll, we'll stop at 35. Nope, that boat is just continuing to move on. Okay, I'm at 35 feet and it's reading 50 degrees. Yep, 50 degrees. Okay, now let's go all the way down. And like I said, it's about 40 feet here. All right, I'm on the bottom. So let's pick it up off the bottom. We don't want it to be in the muck. Okay, it's reading 40.32 40 feet. I'm just off the bottom and it is reading 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, indeed, this lake has turned over. The surface water was 51 degrees. A little over halfway down, we dropped to 50 degrees. I would say that's pretty uniform water temperature. And we have just confirmed that this basin here has turned over. And, that, and, and I know the exact date it did because I was out here one day, the water was clear, the next day, it was super windy, the water was turbid. Even out in the center of the lake where I am now, the water was turbid. You know, not just up on a windblown shoreline, out in the center of the lake. And when you get all that water mixing from the bottom layers and the top layers, you also get a lot of mixing of, uh, of whatever particulate matters down in that lower layer comes up and you get this uh, turbidity. So very cool never done this before and I know the exact date that this basin here turned over anyways that's all I wanted to do with with you guys on this video I am gonna go make a few casts and that's all I gotta say over